the Saturday phone, get ready. Here it comes. Grabbing tons of fun. Welcome to the show. Super fun. Yo, please. We're really jamming. And it's the best. We're having them all on CBS. Get ready. I'm ready. Time for two runs to CBS on Saturday. Books. Check them out. Check them out. Pick up a book. You got a fantasy? Imagination can take you to where you want to be. Are you curious? How can you find out? Books. Check them out. Books. Check them out. Read about stars and cars, play electric guitars, or cops that work hard, patrolling the boulevard, the heavyweight champ and his craziest bout. Books. Check them out. Books. Check them out. At your library. Hmm, they say these post-raisin brand raisins are incredible. Do you ever notice how big they are? Fantastic. Yep, lots of big, plump, mmm, juicy raisins make a big difference in the whole cereal. Post-raisin brand. Yeah. With California raisins. For all the right raisins. Ever notice? Aw, oh, you guys wouldn't notice anything unless it jumped up and bit you. <laughs> Take a break. We'll continue this gig after these words. Danny's a recent man, but more than bites what Danny likes is two scoops. In every Kellogg's pack, two scoops. We'll keep him coming back for two scoops. From Juicy Raisin in Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Riding as hard as he can. He leads the pack, but he's thinking back to those two scoops. And lots of wholesome brands. He's turning back again for two scoops from Juicy Raisin in Kellogg's. Golden Grams presents... Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. no. More of the Golden Boy. When a sweet swirl of honey hits a big bunch of Graham Cracker Crunch, you're not just good. No, please. You're golden. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Golden Grams, the golden part of your complete breakfast. Okay, now, let's get back to the California Raisin Show. Sultana. She wants us to come to a family reunion this weekend. 
a family reunion? All right! It'll be great to be back in Vineland again. We better make plans. What if the old mall shop is still there? Should we fly or drive? Hey, this is gonna be so great. You know, we could drive right up the grapevine. How much luggage should we bring? You think us and Joe will be there? Oh, I hope not. Oh, man, me too. Now, boys. Hey, Stretch, you're gonna love meeting the family, man. Uh, I, I can't make it this weekend. I, I've got an important uh, appointment. An important Hey, you're not worried just because you're not a relative. You're coming with us, aren't you? Look, none of your family knows me. Even if we did grow up in the same town, I'd, I'd probably just be out of place. Oh, come on, Stretch. Now, what's the problem with that, man? Listen, you gotta go. Quiet! You're family to us, Stretch. Now, that's what's important. You just forget all this nonsense about being out of place and come to the reunion with us. Well, like the song says, I'll be there. Oh, man! Wait till the folks back home get a look at this car! <laughs> it sure beats what we left finally then. <laughs> I hear you. That old junk pile barely made it to L.A. Hey, hey, hey! Here's a picture of it! Oh, what a car! Now pay attention, Stretch, and I'll show you some family history. What is that? A purple beach ball? <laughs> no, that's AC. He was just a little great. I remember when that picture was taken. AC was only a few months old. This baby can climb. No problem. It's a road runner. Take a break. We'll continue this gig after these words. Let's 
check out what's on the box. Time for Wacky Wild's Great Style. The wackiest thing in a box. Today's part, boxing. Wacky Wild's Great Style. Wacky Wild. Kool-Aid Style. And now to get serious. Seriously wacky. It came from inside the box. Wacky Wild. Kool-Aid Style. Kool-Aid Cooler's Juice Dream. The box that's totally wacky. Another boring party. This is a job for... Beetlejuice! It's showtime! Uh-oh! Cheek's in trouble. Oh, you're so cute! <laughs> Can I be scary or what? It's really dead around here. Yes! Whoa, ah! almost lost my head! Now this is a party! I'm the ghost with the most. Talking Beetlejuice. Pull it string and hear six random Beetlejuice expressions. Starburst California fruit cheese. Start it up with real fruit juice. Start it up. Turn your taste buds loose. Start it up. Starburst starts up the juice. Starburst California fruit cheese. Four mouth-watering flavors like strawberry watermelon and Malibu punch. That'll give your mouth a splash of California. Starburst starts up the juice. Okay, now, let's get back to the California Raisin Show. <laughs> Come give your grandpa a hug. It's good to see you again, great grandpa. <laughs> yeah, you look terrific. Red, give me four and I'll give you change. <laughs> You're still my main mango, Grandpa. You must be slim. Welcome. Uh, that's Stretch. Uh, thanks, Mr. Call me Grandpa. <laughs> Everyone does. Grandpa! Oh, you're here! How marvelous! Hello, boys! Hello, Hello Aunt Sally! Everyone! Look who's here! <laughs> don't tell me, don't tell me. <laughs> Stitch. Stretch. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. You were the tall kid, always had your nose in a book. <laughs> Once I saw you walk right into a telephone pole. <laughs> I laughed so hard I thought I'd split. <laughs> you just have to meet my twins. They are so talented. I thought maybe you could put them on one of your television shows. I was a musician myself, you know. Played with Lettuce Young for a while. Lettuce Young, alto sax, sometimes called the father of rebound. I have most of his records. Stretch, I think we're gonna be great friends. You know, Cousin Red, uh, I play music too. Maybe we could uh, jelly together later. Hmm? Uh, don't you mean jam together? Uh, don't like jam. Sweet Pea. Now, say hello to your cousin AC, kid. Are you really the California Raisin? We sure are. Don't you, Smarty Pud? <clears throat> oh, how can you believe him? Everybody says he was the biggest nerd in town when he was a kid. Oh, B, I'm sure once you see their little dance. Oh, no! Dance? Oh, it won't take long. Think of it like, um, an audition. <laughs> Did someone say audition? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Maybe you can use a good comedian, too. <laughs> um, Cousin Ren, I'm ready for our jelly session now. Oh, you're gonna love this. You're gonna split like a banana. <laughs> so the turnip says to his mother-in-law. <laughs> Street and see some of your old haunts. Hmm? <laughs> uh, that, that's a great idea, Grandpa. Yeah, I could use a walk. Oh, yeah, a long walk. Wow, Main Street sure hasn't changed much. Yep, small towns are like that. It's what's nice about them. You 
Even the movies haven't changed. Ah, we sure spent a lot of Saturday afternoons here, huh, AC? Yeah, me too.
could scare you more than you could scare me. I could not. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could. Oh, <laughs> cut that out, Stamper. Whew, gotta take a break. We'll continue this gig after these words. Okay, Chip, when you hear the cookie crisp train, give me the signal. Okay, boss. Cookie crisp, 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 That's a well-trained dog. Now with extra chips, cookie crisp, here we come. Uh-oh. Nice of you to drop in, boys. Too bad you won't be enjoying any cookie crisp cereal. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Oh, go to no other cereal tastes like this. Oh, crisp. Superstars like you. We're here to celebrate a different way to eat Jello gelatin. With our bare hands. All we need cookie cutters, this easy recipe, and we've got jigglers. Jiggle, 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 those jigglers. Jiggle, 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 those jigglers. The recipe's on the box. Jigglers, they're a handful of fun. Hey, put that back. <laughs> okay, now, let's get back to the California Raisin Show. Pass the syrup, will you stretch? Earth to stretch. He stupefies. I'm going over to Cousin Fennel's to help set up for the family picnic. Anybody want to come? I could dig a ride. A stretch may not be ready, though. How was that, Cousin? Uh, try it like this. Oh, I see. How was that? You got it. And we're about to get it. Hang on, cousins. I think we can make it. Sure, sure, but doesn't it go something like this? Well, actually, it goes like this. Nothing goes like that. <laughs> Is Penelope coming to the picnic with you, Stretch? Penelope? Nah, nah, I don't think she'd want to. Do you think she'd want to? Well, I think it'd be terrific. Now, you go and call her. I'll see you there.
like we're really cooking. Um, speaking of cooking, how about a song? And how about having Grandpa sing the bass part like he used to? <laughs> I have a touch of a laryngitis. <laughs> uh, why don't we let Stretch sing with the boys? I mean, he is a big part of the group. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Nuggets, pizza, ravioli. Kid Cuisine is definitely fun. They come with a fun pack with games and stickers and stuff. I can't wait to collect them all. Earth. Moms, you gotta love them. New Kid Cuisine. Good food that's good fun. Okay, now, let's get back to the California Raisin Show. <laughs>
to be a fashion designer. When I was about six years old, my dancing teacher let me design my own costumes. So even then I was thinking, how should I make my sleeve? Or how do I want my neckline? Now I'm a fashion designer, and movie stars wear the clothes that I make. But my favorite thing is to see people on the street in my designs. It makes me feel we have something in common. Sometimes it's really hard to come up with ideas. But I try and make it fun. I go to antique stores. I look at comic books. Ideas can be anywhere. To be a designer, you have to love art and learn about colors and shapes and how they all go together. You also should learn how to sew. Being in business is hard, but you can make it fun. Be disciplined, and one day you could be a designer too. When I grow up. Sponsored by McDonald's. We hope you'll always keep reaching for your dreams. Where can you have loads of laughs <laughs> and meet weird characters? Yeah. Who do lots of zany things? Baby's play up Saturdays. <laughs> because the Muppet Babies are having a ball. It's awesome fun and a super good time. Next. This is CBS. Muppet Babies will return after these messages. Watch me trick Fred. Want a star in a TV commercial? Me a star? How? Read this. Have some cocoa pebbles, Bon. Okay. Make up. Mmm. <laughs> cocoa muscles. <laughs> Thank you. Uh oh, Bonnie. <laughs> that show is most cocoa pebble cereal, part of Mr. Trish's breakfast. You can stamp Bonnie on your books, Dino on your pad, cause bedrock ink stamps are totally rad. One bedrock ink stamp and mod boxes of pebbles. Hey, Fred, watch this. <laughs> Sweetie Pupsu, I love the way you feel. Sweetie Pupsu, you look so real. Sweetie Pups, brush your bleed beautiful. Sweetie Pups. And now there are Sweetie Kitties, too. Sweetie Kitties, I love the way you feel. Sweetie Kitties, you look so real. Sweetie Kitties, brush your bleed beautiful. Sweetie Kitties. Sweetie Pups and Sweetie Kitties, each sold separately. And now, some more good stuff. Aw, oh, come on, Scooter. It won't hurt. Uh-uh. No way. You aren't scared, are you? No. I just got this icky feeling. Oh, yeah? Well, you're gonna feel a whole lot ickier if dogs have got that blue all over. Now, stick out your arm. Uh, icky, sticky. Uh, are you sure this is gonna work, Gonzo? Weirdo's honor. Oh, great. Pink tablecloth, pink dishes, pink cake, and pink tea. Oh, the secret to a great tea party is getting everything to match. Don't you agree, Dolly? We are about to make aviation history. <laughs> Yicky, uh, yicky, uh, huh? Oh, okay. Start your wings! I'll flap your engine! Robin singing. A 
gentle breeze in the trees. And the bees buzzing in the flowers. No! Nanny? Icky ho? I think Scooter means Icarus. That's it. That's why I got that icky feeling, Skeeter. Scooter and I watched a videotape about Greek myths the other night when he couldn't sleep. Um, Icarus's dad was named Dreadlocks, and he was this big inventor, see? That's Daedalus, Scooter. Oh, yeah. And then King Minos put him and his son Icarus in prison. But Daedalus figured out a way for them to escape by making wings from wax and real feathers. Uh-huh. Aha! Uh -huh. See? Great minds think alike. <laughs> One thousand feet! Five thousand feet! Ten bazillion feet! Now, Daedalus had warned Icarus not to go too close to the sun because his wings would melt. Huh? Melt? Oh, now they tell me! <laughs> Maybe I should meet this Daedalus guy, Nanny. Does he live around here? <laughs> oh, Gonzo, Daedalus is a character in a myth. A myth? A very old story, Kermit. Some of the most famous myths are from ancient Greece. Well, and tell us some more myths, Nanny. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, kids. I just have too much to do today. But I still have that tape Scooter and I watch. Why don't you watch this for a while? I'll check in on you later. Okay, okay Nanny. Nanny. Oh, hey! These are my kind of guys! Hello, my name is Pan. Hey, Scooter, this guy kind of looks like you. You think so? Uh-huh. And I'm going to be your guide through the world of Greek myths, starting with the story of Pandora's box. Oh, I know this one. A guy named Preposterous, uh, uh, Prostagamus, uh, no, Prometheus, that's it, had an argument with the gods. The gods? Uh-huh. There are these big guys and ladies that hung out on Mount Olympus and made a lot of trouble for everybody. Whoa, whoa. Scooter Pan, are you... Whoa. Okay. Yeah, just having a little trouble getting used to these goat legs, that's all. <laughs> well, these dumb dressers are no picnic either, you know. <laughs> Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. So Prometheus stole fire from the gods and brought it down to Earth to keep the humans warm. Huh? Scooter, this is a kid's show. We can't have a fire. Then this is the story of Prometheus, the um, uh, first uh, fireman. Yeah, that's it. Huh? Gee, that's a lot better. Uh, well, anyway... The gods uh, decided to send Prometheus a wife. Huh? The most beautiful, intelligent, lovely, wonderful, witty, pretty woman around. <laughs> you rang? Oh, boy. The name is Pandora. Uh, actually, I think that's Pandora. Not anymore, it isn't. Let her be Pandora. We'll never get this story done. Okay, Pandora. Hiya, big boy. You want to get married? Not really. 
really, I'm kind of busy this year. What? Right. So Pigdora married uh, Kermitius' brother Fazius instead. What? Hello, Lois. Oh, brother. That's me. <laughs> Whoa, hey. I don't like the way this story is shaping up at all, Scooter. You make that up. Uh-uh. That's the way it is, Piggy. Honest. Pandora was supposed to marry Prometheus, but she married his brother Epimetheus instead. See? Oh, brother. That's what I said. But the gods gave them a beautiful box as a wedding present. Where are you talking? Well, um, actually, you're not allowed to open it. Not open it? What kind of present is that? It's full of bad stuff. You're just saying that. Listen, Big Dora, if Scooter Pan says you're not supposed to open it, then you're not supposed to open it. That's it. That stinks! Sheesh, where can we hide this thing, Fabius? How about the attic? Uh, I don't think so. Uh-oh, a fire alarm! Quick, put, put it under here! Let's go! is up, and it looks like... The Soggies! Let's take off with that tasty spin crunch. Captain Crunch, they pinched breakfast. Mm, <laughs> those Soggies are out of line. <laughs> Good thing I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what goes up must come down. Yay! Captain Crunch cereal is a tasty part of a complete breakfast. Fully flies for the birds. Don't go away. We'll be right back. with a real mind here. Ha! Now they're taking Burger King by storm. You can get one of your favorite heroes wow. on a half shell every time you buy a Kids Club meal. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle badges for a limited time. Only at Burger King. Cowabunga, dudes! Ready for action, ready for fun. Rocket rollers, here they come. Hit it, boys! <laughs> They're making magic out of sight into mischief day and night. <laughs> cool as spies, romantic too. Oh, They'll steal your heart when they play for you. It's chipmunk fever, feel the heat. Here we go. Ride the wave and catch the beat with Alvin and the Chipmunks. This afternoon at 4 on Fox 32. And now some more good stuff. <laughs> Pandora's box contained all the disease and problems in the world and the gift of hope. Yucko! Well, I sure hope the next story is better than this one, Dad. Let's see. This is the Minotaur, half man, half bull, 
one of the most monstrous beasts ever to walk the earth. Whoa! Wow! He belonged to King Minos, who kept him hidden in a complicated maze. Gosh, I bet it'd be hard to find the Minotaur in that place. Yeah! Who would want to? I want that so! Gonzo Shutterbuggius, photographer of the weird, at your service. <laughs> I had to ask. Camera. to do this, Gonzo? Hey, inquiring minds want weird, and I'm here to give it to them. Speaking of weird, you know, you're not half bad yourself. Thanks. <laughs> According to my book, this Minotaur guy can be very cranky. Cranky schmanky. I haven't met a monster yet I didn't love. Here, let me see that. These dudes are radical. Half man, half horse, half bird, half lion. That's Medusa. She's got laser eyes. One look will turn you to stone. Uh -huh. You know, you and this book could come in very handy. Why don't you come with us? I was afraid you'd say that. Gee, which way do we go? No problem. One Godzilla, two Godzilla, three Godzilla, four. Which way to go to find the Minotaur? Oops. Uh, maybe we ought to just ask somebody. Good idea. Yes? Can I help you? Well, um, well, I... Uh, hi there. I'm Gonzo Shutterbuggius, photographer for the Monster Gazette, and, uh, I'm looking for the Minotaur. <laughs> Haven't seen him. Sorry. Oh, well, then could I take your picture? Well? Oh, ah, oh, oh boy, that's right. Whoa. See? what I tell you? Some of my best friends are monsters. All right, everybody pick a door. Do we have to? No, I ain't seen him. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for you, though, huh? Sorry, can't help you. Hey, I wanted to say that. Excuse me, but do you know where I might find the Minotaur? She did to the pizza man. She'll turn us all to stone. Ah, uh, stone schmone. What was her name again? Madu. Who shall I dance with? 
on this lovely night. Huh? My eye catches someone. Huh? My heart knows it's right. Ooh. May I? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Dancing with you is like gliding on air. <laughs> they all stop and stare. We're a beautiful pair. Huh? Who is bullheaded? He is sensitive to monster of my dreams. It's you. Oh. No sidewalk, no centaur who would dare to compete with your graceful feet. between three goddesses. Like a beauty contest, Nanny? Well, kind of like a beauty contest. The first goddess was Hera, the queen of the gods. You don't say. The second goddess was Athena, the goddess of wisdom. And the third goddess was Aphrodite, the goddess of love. Oh, no, I'm not going to play a girl's part again. I want to be the host. Gee, maybe I could be Aphrodite, too. No way, Queenie. One roll per pink. Who is that? Camilla Dighty, goddess of love. <laughs> We're competing with a chicken. Ridiculous. So there you have our contestants, folks. Who will be the fairest goddess on Olympus? I can see that our judge is having trouble making up his mind. Oh, brother. Wait, wait. I think we have a decision. <laughs> yes, and the winner is Camilla Dighty. <laughs> That's the way it did happen, Piggy, dear. Huh? Prince Parrish chose Aphrodite, not Hera or Athena. Oh, I'd better get those things out of the dryer before they wrinkle. I'll be right back. Oh, Gonzo! Yes, Piggy? Just one teeny-weeny little question. Shoot! Why did you choose that stupid, stupid chicken and get over me? Piggy, why don't you just come watch the rest of the tape with us and forget about Gonzo? Thank you very much, Kermie, but I've had just about enough of these dumb old myths. They're creepy and weird and... And that's how the Greeks tricked the Trojans into opening their gates. Stop that tape! So finally, the Greeks built a giant wooden horse, filled it with soldiers, and the curious Trojans brought the horse inside. Hmm, maybe these myths will turn out to be useful after all. Glue! Glue! Brothers! Brothers! 
Fun. Done. Fun? What is it? The Trojan chicken. Very weird. Gonzo will love it. Gee, I don't know about this, Piggy. Do it anyway, Frog. Okay, okay. Lock-on joystick, you can climb, dive, and fight in jets like the F-15 Eagle, the Harrier, the F-16, and more. And Erdl's Force One jets are so authentically detailed, you'll feel just like you're in the cockpit. Force One, airstrike command! Each sold separately from Erdl. All right, that is the latest, greatest, number one man blowing hit! Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the air here. Well, it's a sweet taste of honey with the crunch is kind of nutty. Whoa. Did I hear honey and nuts? Part of this complete breakfast, honey nut Cheerios. It's a honey oven o. Mmm. Honey nut Cheerios. Hmm. It looks like the coast is clear. Uh oh. Pop cycles. Yikes. Put one over on Fred C. Dog. AFX Pop Cycles. They don't cost much, and they're hours of fun. Here's the next set of winners of Fox 32's Great Simpsons Giveaway. Kevin O'Halloran of Richmond. Andrea Folk of Kankakee. Barb Solomon of Carpentersville. Robert Warren of DeKalb. And Matt Height of Hoffman Estates. Keep watching. We're giving away more T-shirts in the next half hour. Remember, when you see Bart Simpson's face, call the special phone number and please dial carefully. 
Callers 32 through 36 win. Coming up next, that's right, Garfield and Friends. So stay tuned to Kid TV, dudes. to help get me back home. Then follow your nose. To fruit flavor it goes. Smell the natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors of Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Most tubular. A most delicious part of this complete breakfast. Mmm, the Fruit Loops are excellent. Another bowl? Hey, that'd be gnarly, dude. That means yes, doesn't it? Marshmallows, help me hide. Send me on another balloon ride. At least I've still got one box of my lucky charms. Got your lucky! <laughs> this is CBS.
how Hamburglar got his stripes. In McDonald land a long time back, a stranger showed up dressed all in black. Rubble, rubble. <laughs> he followed Ronald and Grimace that day and tried to take their burgers away. Rubble. But he couldn't nab them. So he just grabbed him. Uh-oh. Who's that? The Hamburglar. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh, stop this Hamburglar guy. And that's how Hamburglar got his stripes. Yipes! <laughs> nice suit. Big game today, Tony. We're ready, but let's start with a complete breakfast, including my Frosted Flakes. They bring out the tiger in you. Hey, kid, good luck. Frosted Flakes, good. They're great. Bring out the tiger. You know what to do. Tony's Frosted Flakes have got the taste. It brings out the tiger in you. Hey, I found something. Secret of the Pharaohs? Yeah. Mystery of the Pyramids? Nah. Only you can see in the dark with Night Scope, free in Frosted Flakes. You're gonna tell me? Nah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Good morning Mrs. Renee. Hey, Way. Hey, Way. The picture phone is ringing. I'm in the bed. Pee-wee's Playhouse, Mrs. Renee speaking. Hey, Mrs. Renee, what's happening? What it is, Cece? Who is that, Mrs. Renee? It's Cowboy Curtis! What does he want? What do you want? I want to know what's today's secret word. He wants to know what today's secret word is! We don't know yet! Go ask Cocky! Hold the phone! Conky 2000, ready to, to assist you, Mrs. Renee. Good morning, Conky. What's today's secret word? Today's secret word is place. Okay, you all know what to do whenever anyone says a secret word, right? Scream! That's right! For the rest of the day, whenever anyone says a secret word, scream real loud! Okay? Let's try it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you're back. Curtis, did you move recently? No, still live in the same old place. <laughs> <laughs> you sure got me that time? Well, I gotta go see a man about a horse. Take her easy, Mrs. Renee. Bye-bye, Curtis. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Renee! Hello, Pee Wee. Ruby gave me a letter to give you, but I forgot where I put it. You forgot where you put a letter for me? Yes. Well, come on, let's look for it. It's gotta be here someplace. Yeah! <laughs> I get it. I said the secret word, right? Yes, you did. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Pee Wee. I have your letter right here. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Renee. Well, I've got to be going because I know I'm needed someplace. Yeah! Yeah! Bye, baby. Bye, bye. bye. <laughs> wow! A letter from Japan. <laughs> Pee Wee, I took a trip to Japan last summer. I met all kinds of nice people. I stayed with the Mitsumi family. Here they are watching TV before bedtime. Every morning, Mr. Mitsumi takes the train to work. Japan's very small and a lot of people live there. 
Sometimes it gets very crowded. Here is Mr. Mitsumi doing his morning exercises with his friends before work. Here he is at his job, building cars. Kenichi and Reko Mitsumi go off to school in the morning, just like we do here. They study hard at school and love to play after they finish their homework. When Mr. Mitsumi gets home from work, Mrs. Mitsumi makes dinner for everyone. Here we are eating some noodles. After dinner, everyone took turns taking a bath. That evening, we all went to see a strange play where everybody wore a lot of makeup and robes, even the men. On Saturday, we saw some sumo wrestling where these big fat guys tried to push each other out of a circle. It was fun, but my favorite part was visiting a monastery and meditating. Om. I made a lot of new friends. What does the letter say, Pee-wee? Woo! It's written in Japanese! <laughs> 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 Would you please come over here and translate this letter for me? I'd be glad to, Kiwi. Thank you. <laughs> Muchas gracias, Kaki. Dear Pee-wee, my name is Okie Dokie and I live in Tokyo. <laughs> That's the capital of Japan. We take our shoes off before we go into the house. <laughs> when we have dinner, we sit on the floor and eat with sticks. I will be visiting your country soon and hope to come and see you at the playhouse. Sayonara, Okie. What a nice letter, Pee-wee. It must be fun having so many friends. Oh, yeah, Cherry. It's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, Pee-wee. Let's take a look at this. Someone's coming. I wonder who that could be. Konnichiwa. I am Oki. Boy, that was quick. He was playing. We'll return after these messages. You're a doodle, Mama. WAGA brings you a very special event. You so right about that. An exclusive behind-the-scenes look at the movie that has audiences cheering and may win this year's Oscar. I'm deeply grateful. You'll see the stars and learn about the real-life experiences that inspired Driving Miss Daisy. You just made friends with everybody. Don't miss The Real Miss Daisy, Monday at 8, exclusively on Channel 5. A run for life. Channel 5 Heart Trek, March 31st. Look, your bowl of Rice Krispies is talking. Yes, but what does it say? It says my allowance is a cruel joke. It says I'm going to be a famous singing princess astronaut. Rice Krispies, you say the most beautiful things. <laughs> 
says Kellogg's Rice Krispies is the front part of my complete breakfast. <laughs> I didn't know we were so funny. What do your Rice Krispies say to you? <laughs> I play guitar, and when I play, I like to turn up the juice. So I rock with the real fruit juice taste in Bubbly on Bubblegum's Hawaiian Punch Fruit Punch, Wet n Wild Watermelon, and Strawberry Stripe. Their full face taste keeps my jaws jamming, and their blasting bubbles slide off my lips like my fingers across this guitar. Bubbly Yum has three ripping flavors with real fruit juice taste. You gotta like the sound of that. Bubbly Yum keeps it popping. So, what's it like when the Skittles rainbow kicks in? Skittles, now in three new flavors. Wildberry, Tartan Tangy, and Tropical. Even you said you were coming over soon. You weren't kidding. <laughs> it is Anna to meet you. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> well, come on in. <laughs> hey, everyone, say hi to Oki. Hi, hi Oki. Hi, Oki. Hello, Oki. Hello, Oki. Hello, Oki. <laughs> So this is a prey house. It is known the world over as very special praise. Yeah! <laughs> How fortunate. I said secret word. Hey, could you say it in Japanese, Oki? Hi. Tokoro! Yeah! <laughs> oh, Pee Wee san, I brought you a present. Present? <laughs> Man, Oki, talk it over. Doza. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, gosh, Oki, thanks. <laughs> what is it, candy? It's raw fish wrapped in rice and seaweed. We call it sushi. <laughs> well, thanks, Oki, but I, uh, I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> thanks. Oh, and I brought you something else, too. This. <laughs> Kenny, the seas and the oceans are among the most precious possessions that we have on Earth. But all this pollution can threaten man's very existence. Our water is sacred. Gamera taught us that lesson. If the oceans die, then mankind will die. So we have to protect them. Yeah, you're right, Daddy. Good boy. Would you like me to teach you origami? Yeah. You mean you're gonna teach me how to break bricks with my bare hands and jug? Oh no, that's karate. Oh. Origami is a Japanese art of paper folding. Me? Well, how do you do it? Oh, like this.
Do Pee Wee a swan. Wow, cool. <laughs> Can I try? What is that? That's a swan's egg. <laughs> Tiwi-san, <laughs> I have to go now. I have a lot of other pen pals to visit. Oh, well, gee, thanks for coming over, oh. Oki. <laughs> Boy, thanks. you know, stop by next time you're in the neighborhood. Oh, thank you very much, Pee Wee. Um, Sayonara. Sayonara. <laughs> Sayonara. 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 <laughs> oh. Sayonara. Bye, Shalala. Bye. Bye. Shalala. 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 Here is Blam. We'll return after these messages. We're my little pony girls. Tropical, Baby Sparkle, and other My Little Ponies each sold separately. to celebrate a different way to eat jello gelatin with our bare hands all we need cookie cutters this easy recipe and we've got jigglers jiggle 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 those jigglers jiggle 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 those jigglers <laughs> the recipes on the box jigglers they're a handful of fun hey put that back <laughs> Look, your bowl of Rice Krispies is talking. Yes, but what does it say? It says my allowance is a cruel joke. It says I'm going to be a famous singing princess astronaut. Rice Krispies, you say the most beautiful things. Shh. It says Kellogg's Rice Krispies is the front part of my complete breakfast. <laughs> I didn't know we were so funny. What do your Rice Krispies say to you? <laughs> First word. Is it a bowling ball? It's a Mexican hat dance. Yeah. yeah. Very good, Randy. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Do another one, Missy Vaughn. Okay, Cherry. We're playing charades, boys and girls. Why don't you play along with us? I'll act out the title, and you try and guess what it is. Ready? She's screaming. No, Randy. That means it's a song title. And it has five words. First word! What's she doing? Is she pulling? No, she's grabbing. I got it. Mary had a little lamb. Second word. She's doing the same thing. That must mean that the first two words are the same. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Hmm, this is a hard one. Third word. She's still doing the same thing. This is driving me crazy. Sounds like... Uh, blow! 
Row. 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 Row, row, row your boat. That's right, Kiwi. You've got it. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. I run, I run. Okay, my turn. One word. Two syllables. Ah, uh, milking a cow. Driving. Oh, yeah, but what is he driving? The fire truck. It's a fire truck. It's a car. A car. Car's right. Car. Uh, uh, second syllable. Um, second syllable. Peace. Uh, victory. Two. 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 Oh, two. two. Great. <laughs> Car. Two. Car. Two. snack is something special. See if you can guess what it is. It's natural. Loaded with minerals and nutrients, but you can't chew it unless it's frozen. Hmm. Give up? It's water! <laughs> water? What a crummy snack. Randy, it's important to drink lots of water. It's something that everybody needs to stay healthy. And it's good for you. Therefore, it's a wonderful and refreshing snack for any time. Mmm, <laughs> watery! <laughs> Water, yeah. We wouldn't be home without it. <laughs> I sure had fun today. I hope you did too. See you next week. 
Same time, same place! <laughs> This is CBS. Grimace in Storyland. Whoa! I'm in Storyland! Uh-oh, I'd better go keep an eye on Grimace. Little Red Riding Hood! Did Grimace walk this way? No, he walked this way! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! <laughs> oh, boy! The cat and the fiddle! And the dish that ran away with the spoon! Fee! Uh-oh! Fee! Foo! Come on, Grimace! It's time to get back! Oh, boy! Lunch at McDonald's! I knew you liked happy endings. Micro Machine Man here with the Mini Micro Man. We're bringing you the super scoop on special auto supplies with a secret inside. Wanna see? What's inside? The distributor cap and gas additive open to reveal two simply stupendous service shops. The cap conceals a totally terrific tune-up shop with a real ramp and a service bay with a dandy dino hookup. Take a look at this great gas additive. Inside this is a genuine gas station with premium pumps. Fill her up with high tests. The wax can opens to simply amazing detail shop to keep your micro super clean. There's a handy flip-out hose, brilliant buffer, and real working garage doors. Now see what this oil can can do. It's a little lube shop with a liftable lube rack, serious shop light lube gun, and mini micro storage. The micro machine secret auto supplies from Galoob. Remember, if it doesn't say micro machines, it's, it's not, not the real thing. thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. We're, we're ready, ready to, to party. We're ready to party, we're ready. Yeah. I hope you bring lots of spaghetti. I'm scared. Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends. Come on in, it's time to party with Garfield and friends. Oh. Fiesta! Romance! Siesta! Samba! La Bamba! Ay caramba! Disguises! Disguises! Surprises! Surprises! And pies up! And pies up! All sizes! Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends! Come on in, it's time to party with Garfield and friends! Come on in, it's time to party with Garfield and friends! Garfield and friends! After seven seasons, we've pretty much said everything you can say in this spot. Here are some commercials, and then more of me. What goes first? The graham cracker, the marshmallow, or the chocolate? Gee, s'mores are hard to make. Hey, who ate the chocolate? There's an easier way to enjoy the campfire goodness of s'mores. Suddenly s'mores. Just pop them in the microwave and they turn into an ooey, gooey, chocolatey fudge graham sandwich. Suddenly s'mores. Suddenly the great taste of s'mores in seconds. <laughs> Nursery toddlers, each with a surprise package, each doll sold separately. We interrupt these commercials to bring you our program.
there's something new in Gotham City. It's Batman! Like you've never seen him before. Figures and vehicles <laughs> sold separately. Flashy does, Batman. My tech shield suit protects me. Even against this sludge, your poison can't hurt my tech shield suit. Bye, Batman. Think again, Joker. My Batcopter, fire! Get at him! Ah, where does he get these great weapons? You're finished, Joker. Tech shield Batman, Batcopter and Joker sold separately. Part of Batman, the Dark Knight collection. Time for... Wacky Bio Style. The wackiest thing in a box. Wacky Bio Cool style. Wacky wild. Cool style. 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 Marshmallow Alphabet Cereal is part of this good for you breakfast. Both alphabets are A, B, C, delicious. Little news, little news. The Keebler Elves have some brand new bite sized cookies you can eat by the handful. They're bite sized, all right. They're new Keebler Mini Middles, but the big news is inside. Wow. There's a surprising burst of chocolatey fudge inside each one. How do we do that? Watch. Oh. So if you're looking for fun, new mini middles, the bite-sized surprise from Keebler. I can't remember when we've been this excited. To find out how to properly dispose of your hazardous household waste, call the State Department of Environmental Protection at 566-3489. Slam your eyeballs against this. I'm a sneaking in people and scoping a scene, you know, comping a major toot. When I cut loose this bunch of dweebs, whoa, I've been trying to teach them some rude. Ah, uh, dog, that is. Yo, dudes, get rude. I was almost asleep for the fifth time that night. It seemed too good to be true. Too much to ask for. Too dreamlike. It was. could get the uh, little engine that could there under control so we could all cop three, maybe four Zs. Yeah, sure, 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 Well, I'm just real sorry, everybody. Satch, watch Caboose so he doesn't fall asleep while we try to figure out how to help him, okay? I'm with you. All right, okay. What we need is a cure. Caboose, hold your breath. Oh, but I don't... 
to thank the... Come on, please! Okay. <sighs> Huh? Oh. Uh, how long do you all suppose Caboose should hold his breath before those dreams go away? Uh-oh. Caboose, breathe! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> My idea. Hmm. I could be wrong. Satch, Caboose does not have the hiccups. <laughs> See, it worked. He's all better. Yo, uh, dweebs. Controlling Caboose's dreams does not seem to be the ticket here. I know. Maybe we should just keep him awake. He can't dream if he's awake. Can he? Good idea, Twig. Oh, yeah, yeah, he can't. I do. Yeah, he okay. Hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah, no, he can't. Yes, you're quite right. Yes, yes. Yeah, but how are we going to do that? I have an idea. Here, Caboose. If you read to us, that'll keep you awake. Well, okay. And so the little c c princess... <laughs> ...ran off into the woods. Woo. 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 I think I can. I think I can. I think... Big Craig! <laughs> Uh-oh, he's at it again. Wake him up. Cook Oh, big old uh sorry. We just gotta keep him awake tonight. Might I suggest watching him in shifts of an hour each? Okay. Uh -huh, yeah. See, that's a good idea. Yeah, 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 Oh, I was right. I see, I see, I see. Whoa, 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 chill out, Caboose. I was, uh, but we'll do. Big old, big old, big old. Hey, hey, Caboose, hold the phone, babe. Just a second here. Dweebs, I think it's time we show Caboose that trains can't hurt him. Kind of give him a little railroad re-education, you know what I mean? Well, how you gonna do that, real dog? Big <laughs> train. Dweebs, it's traveling time. Huh? Oh, Will you quiet down, you nickaboop? We are here to catch dogs, not audition for a Broadway musical. Sorry. You don't like my thing. What's this? Rob, this is our lucky day. Yes. Stupid, Rude Dog just delivered seven dweebs to go. To the pound, that is. Yeah. Now listen up. He said, I'm a taste of the Okay. Okay, dweebs, this is gonna be a breeze. A cinch, a piece of cake. No problem. Correction, one problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, look at that. Uh, a place to fill the tra trains. You, my little petrified friend, have got some serious climbing out of the car to do. Did you see how scared Caboose looked? How are we going to help him? Fellas, our prayers have been answered. Huh? Oh, boy. <laughs> what we ask for? One of those. Look. <gasps> oh, boy, it's a... It's a... What is that? Hey, it's a dweeb-powered railroad car. Come on. I can't do it, R.D. I bumped my noggin on a 
I tried a long time ago, and ever since then I've been sc sc scared of them. Big old train, big old train, look out! Hey, Kabusta, sweetie, like you said, that was a long time ago, pal. This is different. This is today. This is... Kaboos! Yeah. Hey, Caboose, what do you say? Look at this. This is a nut house. It's no big deal. Oh, no problem. Yeah, man. Oh, 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 Chicken Satch. Yeah, them too. <laughs> Them dweebs is everywhere, Rod. The only way to deal with this situation is to divide and conquer. Yeah, right and conquer. Right and conquer. Capture them one at a time, you bozo. Let's go after the little one first. Yeah, little one first. Yeah, where do you think you're going? Yeah, I don't know. That way, biscuit brain. You one of these days when I get home. Oh. Gee, maybe we should show Caboose a caboose. <laughs> Perfect. He's all alone and ripe for the picking. Huh? Right for the picking. All we have to do is roll that car away from the rest, and then we jump him. Come on. Atta boy. You see? Nothing to be afraid of. Gee, so this is a locomotive, huh? Yes, yes, Jimmy. In my day, all we had was one lever and a pull chain for the whistle. Like this? <laughs> yes! Hey, what the heck? Sorry! Terribly sorry! It's okay, no problem. Caboose? <laughs> Caboose? Hi. Whoa. Caboose, babe, if I told you once, I told you a thousand times. Stay out of the glove box. Sorry. <gasps> oh, my. Twigs in that caboose. we got to tell our date. Huh? Oh, no. Help! Help! Caboose! Herman is... Twigs in trouble. I see. Twigs in trouble. Herman rot. Huh? Oh, Twigs in trouble? I'm a coming, Twig. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Caboose? Come on, little buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Jump off that thing before it's too late. What? Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, Where, where, where is it? He? He's on the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did we get him? Uh-oh. -uh. Too bad. Uh-huh. Hey, Caboose, yeah, you have made one serious metamorphosis today, my friend. From a scary cat to one courageous dweeb. Well, I dare you. Hey, you can take that to the bank, pal. Yo, dweebs, check out the kid in the wild pajamas. We'll be right back. Stay put, babe. Presenting Ronald McDonald and his musical seal. Food, folks, and fun. You know the one. Oh, McDonald's for food, folks, and fun. <laughs> thank you, thank you. When you buy McDonald's Peach Toy Happy Meal, you can... Float some boats. Score on a rake. And build a castle. Two toys each week, one with each Happy Meal you buy. You can collect all eight. Part of this good for you breakfast. Both alphabets are A, B, C, delicious. Got sparkles in my 
Junior for superstars like you. Hey, welcome back. You're gonna like this next story about it in cream of bologna soup. Oh, that little dweeb brain seems to be in a good mood today. Well, I'll just have to do something about that. <laughs> and the one, and the two. Good morning. What kind of scared is that? finally come to his senses, or he's gone out of his mind. It occurred to me it was about time I had a little dog to dweeb talk with the tweakster. Yo, little buddy. How you doing? I couldn't help but notice. Uh, is something bothering you? What's he saying? Something about butter and tweak. So feel free, pal. You can tell old rude dog anything. Uh, excuse me. Uh, pardon me there, Willie, uh, Mr. Cow. Don't you think it's time for you and your friends to be, uh, moving on? <laughs> tweak! Yo, Tweak! <sighs> oh, I see. I should have guessed. Puppy love, huh? Yeah, you got all the classic symptoms. So, uh, Tweak, what's her name? Uh, how would I know that, Artie? Easy. You ask. Uh, you, you mean talk to her? Uh, uh, I couldn't. She, she's too, I mean, she's so, I mean... Uh. Whoa, whoa, hold the phone here. I think I'm starting to get the big picture. You've never even met her before, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't know where to begin. Uh-huh. So, how about I give you a couple of rude pointers? <laughs> Gee, would you, rude dog? Would you really? Yellow, rude dog delivery. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, I see. Well, that's cutting it a little tight. Uh, okay, okay, you got it. Listen, Tweak, I got a super rush delivery. I gotta go. Hmm. Oh, but I'll be back real soon, I promise, okay? Now, in the meantime, uh... Hey, yo, any of you, uh, Eve's Dweebers know anything about girls? Uh, yeah, I've seen them. Well, yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, yeah, I... Uh, uh, me too. Me three. <laughs> uh, pardon me, but I am a girl. As I recall, in my youth, I was considered something of an expert in the field. See, there you go, Tweak. These guys can help you till I get back. Okay, little bro? Uh, oh, okay, rude dog. Well, oh, okay. Okay. And remember, dweebs, keep it rude. Uh -huh. So like I was telling you, Tweak. Hey, how come you get to go first? ARD said to keep it rude, right? Yeah. Well, rude rhymes with dude, and that stands for Reggie. Get it? Boy, that's amazing, Reggie. You can be a dweeb and a jerk at the same time. Thanks. Huh? Now, if you really want to get a girl's attention, Tweak, you gotta have attitude. Hey, style is everything. Now, uh, which apartment did you say it was? Uh, that one. Great. Now get out there and show her what you're made of. Huh? But, but I don't know 
what to say? Tweak, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Attitude, remember? Okay. Lower. Uh, okay. <clears throat> um, well, you see, lady. Lady. I, uh, I mean, uh, I... Oh. I, um, oh, well, uh, I can't do it, Reggie. Okay, Tweak, watch and learn. Let a pro show you how this is done. Yo, babe! Check me out! Whoa! See? It works every time. Wow, that's wet! Hey, I got the remote control. You're not going anywhere. We'll be right back. The peanut butter crunch bird laid another egg, Captain. A magical egg filled with my peanut butter crunch cereal. That sweet, tasty peanut butter crunch is going to be ours. Whoa, the doggies. They're taking the peanut butter crunch bird. Huh, not while I'm top crunch. You wasted them. No, just winged them. <laughs> peanut butter crunch is a yummy part of a complete breakfast. Okay, everybody, say cheeseburger. Cheeseburger! Speaking of cheeseburgers, let's go to Burger King. Now at Burger King. Cars, cars, cars! Fast cars, fast cars, and even faster cars! Six mini rector breakers in all! If you come on down, we'll give you one mini rector breaker in every kid's meal. Now at Burger King. The Burger King Kids Club. Just for fun, just for you. <laughs> Presenting a wacky, wild mystery. Hello. Reports tell us every box of Kool-Aid Cool Pops has mystery berry bars. Your job, guess the flavor. It could be cherry, strawberry, or even cream pops. To help you, Cool Pops comes with a secret decoder and games on the back to sharpen your skills. Beware. Mystery berry bars show up as different flavors in each box. Good luck. I think we've got this problem licked. Kool-Aid Cool Pops frozen drink bars now with wacky, wild mystery berry bars. It's a hip-hop trip with the Sunshine Fun Guys. Ooh, that's deep, man. They're moving and grooving to a super cool beat. Say what? The California Raisins, Saturdays. He's fat and furry, totally lazy, always in trouble. And always hungry. I've got an image to maintain. The nutty world of Garfield and Friends, Saturdays. Okay, Dweeb, settle. They're back and they want to be entertained. Let's hit it. I miss Tweak. I know a surefire way to get a girl's attention. Really, Barney? Uh-huh. I used it back on the farm. First thing we gotta do is find ourselves a mud puddle. Huh? That one over there ought to do fine. Then you roll all around in it, kind of like, uh, well, this here. Like this? That's it. Now, come on. Boy! <laughs> now, grab yourself a nice present. Something good, like, uh... Some pretty flowers? Nah, a bunch of corn cobs. Corn cobs? There. All set. Come on. Are you sure this is gonna work? Guaranteed. Hi, Kibble. <laughs> what are you two doing? I was just showing Tweak here how I courted my girl back on the farm. Yeah, really? What kind of girl was this, Barney? Well, she was pretty and pink, and when I told her I loved her, she went oink, oink. Oink? You mean she was a pig? Uh-huh, and her name was Peggy Sue. A pig? <laughs> <laughs> But I'm no good at this, Caboose. That's, uh, that, trust me, Cleek. Girls love it. Okay. Me, 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 me. Home, home, home on the range. Get out of here, you lousy much. Yikes! Whoa! Come on, Cleek, let's get you can get that skedaddle. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, you see, it has been my observation that in romance, as well as warfare, readiness is everything.
Now then, let's rehearse. rehearse. Tweak, you are Romeo. Uh-huh. And Kibble, you, my dear, are Juliet. Okay. Are you ready, my lad? Uh, well... Ready, Juliet? Ready, already. Proceed. Uh, okay. Uh, but, sir, what light through yonder window breaks? Why, it's Room Dog in the Cadillac. Huh? It is? What page are we on? No, silly, look. Silly? What page is that on? Hey, what's going on here? Well, uh, I'm Romeo, and I'm Juliet. No kidding. And, uh, who are you, Winston? I am confused, sir. I don't recall a motor car in this play. No, I don't know motor car. Dweebs, you gotta love them. Yo, Tweak, listen up, babe. Uh, I don't know what these dweebs have been telling you, but I'm gonna give you my secret formula for success with girls. Huh? Just be yourself. That's it? Bingo. All you gotta do is walk up and say hi. You know, just act natural. But Audie's right. <laughs> Come on. But I uh, can't. Oh. But. Go on. Yeah, you can do it. Hey. Um, well. <clears throat> okay, here I go. <clears throat> this is me going. Okay. <laughs> go on, little buddy. We're right behind you. <sighs> Problem here. Oh, uh, hello, blue dog. A problem? No. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I mean, no, uh, Mr. Blue Dog, sir. I'm. I'm. It's, it's a beautiful day. Isn't it nice? Bye. Yo, Tweaks, come on. Let's regroup here and uh, see how Tweaks doing. <laughs> Remember now, just be yourself. Uh, okay. Well, hi there, cutie. Is that for me? <laughs> Would you like to come in? Me? Um, well, uh, yeah. Well, come on in, sugar. <laughs> I taught him everything he knows. They're coming out. <laughs> Whoa. I've heard of ad couples before, but this is ridiculous. Winston, Dweebs, if you ask me, the Rude Dog School of Charm has just witnessed its first graduation. Hey, are they kidding? A break? I was just getting rolling here. We're dreaming of little pretty kitties, polished pots. They love to play all day. Little pretty kitties, polished pots. Our kitties with pretty nails you can change. Mommy's pots, kitties, puppies too. They all have pretty nails to change color for you. Polished pots, kitties, my pretty pets. I really love you best. Polished pots, kitties, and puppies. Nails change color in warmer icy water, each sold separately. Push up, dabba, dabba, a dabba, do. Yeah, Flintstone push up, that's what's cool. Push up, Flintstone. 
got a modern Stone Age server tree. I taste right out of his gold brain. Push up! This is a six. A foodie flavor! Red, Barney, Wilma, too. Make every bite more fun for you. Push ups, place those push ups. I taste right out of his gold brain. Hang on to your seats. The Adventures of Raggedy Ann and Andy is coming up next. This is CBS. Western Fun Barbie doll and Sunrunner Horse Eats sold separately. Little news! Little news! The Keebler Elves have some brand new bite-sized cookies you can eat by the handful. They're bite-sized, all right. They're new Keebler Mini Middles, but the big news is inside. Wow! There's a surprising burst of chocolatey fudge inside each one. How do we do that? Watch! Oh. So if you're looking for fun, new Mini Middles, the bite-sized surprise from Keebler. I can't remember when we've been this excited. from the real Ghostbusters. Proton Pack and Ghost Trap each sold separately. And back to our adventure.
Man's best friend, indeed. Poor Marcella. Fido is real frisky today. Yeah, and I don't understand why he doesn't like this flea collar. It looks like a real jeweled necklace. Well, it is quite unusual. And it does look good on me. Oh, that is a matter of opinion. Well, in my opinion, that's the biggest hole I've ever seen. What a mess. You're right, Andy. Let's go fill it in for Marcella right now. You and your big opinion. Wait! There's something down there! It's just an old lamp. But what if it's gold? Real gold! Don't be ridiculous. How many people leave gold lamps lying around, hmm? Don't be such a grump, Grouchy Bear. Time is running out. Now, how am I going to grant my master's last wish? Wow! It's a magic lamp! Are you a genie? Of course! Oh, <laughs> there it is! Oh, Allah be praised! I thought I'd never find it! Hey! Oh, what speak down? Hey, the genie took Raggy Cat! He can't do that! Come on! Trouble, I think. Stop where you are! Get down! Uh -oh. Come on, guys! Move bridge! Uh -oh. After them! They must be stopped! Why are those guys chasing us? Who cares? Try the doors! an awful lot of trouble for a dumb old flea collar. If you want the collar, it's yours. Yeah, we just want to go home. Gee, maybe they know the way. <gasps> See those intruders! Oh no, it's a trap! We'd better get out of here. No, wait! It's time to put a lid on these guys. <laughs> See them, Commander. Well, they must be in here. This is the last room to be searched. Look everywhere. I was sure something moved. Phew. Uh, we searched everywhere, sir, and there's no sign of them. They must have given us the slip. Come on! Boy, was he ever an ugly king! Well, you're not exactly sleeping beauty yourself now, are you? How are we gonna get home? The same way we got here. Oh, my new master! <laughs> this is indeed a glorious day! How may I serve you? How about three wishes? Why, of course! You possess the lamp. Your wishes are my command. But you didn't give us any wishes before. You nabbed Raggedy Cat instead. A truly unfortunate situation. But I had to complete Princess Clea's last wish. 
Gee, if I could wish for anything, I'd wish for a ten-layer chocolate cake. Not me. I'd wish to see that princess again. I have a feeling she would have made me her royal cat. As you wish. Just call when you want to use your last wish. Do you see what you've done? We've only got one more wish left. Oh, I wish, I wish. Uh, we'd better save that wish so we can get home. What am I going to do? I need Raggedy Cat and the collar for a very worthy cause. I assure you. I don't mind. I'm sure Princess Cleo is telling the truth. Besides, anyone who likes cats can't be all bad. Well, I guess we can stay for a little while. What's this all about? So you see, Father was Pharaoh of this land, but now that he's gone, a new ruler must be named. That's easy. Well, as his daughter, you should be queen. Uh, or my twin sister, Nefra. Naturally, my father couldn't decide between us. Oh, great. Double trouble. Shh, quiet. I want to hear the rest of Clea's story. My father said that only the person pure of heart can receive the jeweled scepter. And the person with the scepter becomes queen. Right. These hieroglyphics tell all about it. I know I must have the sacred collar of the cat to release the scepter, but I haven't been able to figure out where to find it. Why didn't you use one of your wishes from the genie to get this scepter thing? Because that would be cheating. It says so right here. That's right. My father's wishes must be obeyed. I'm sure Nefra feels the same way, too. So, my sister thinks she has the sacred collar of the cat. Well, so do I. We must stop that little twerp, Dirac. Be quiet, you. Do you have a plan, your highness? Of course. I want that magic lamp. Then I'll make sure the genie takes me right to the jewel scepter. This will be the end of my goody two sandaled sister and her friends. Well, what does it say? Well, I think it means we have to find the pyramid that sits atop the two hump tail next to a river. I think. Oh boy, we're in for trouble. I bet we don't even have a map. Hmm. I don't think we need one, Grouchy Bear. It sounds like the pyramid on the other side of the tombs of Luxor. Tombs? <laughs> Maybe I should stay behind. With us around, you have nothing to worry about, Raggedy Cat. Oh, that's very reassuring, Andy. What are we waiting for? The only way to the pyramid is through the tombs. See, it doesn't look so bad, Raggedy Cat. You are worried over nothing. Maybe. <gasps> And maybe not. What's that? <gasps> Look! Let me get out of here! Oh no! Oh no! Not again! Oh, Clea, get out of the way! I can't, Ab! Uh, I'm stuck! Thank you, Andy. You know, I get the distinct feeling that someone is trying to stop us. I'm afraid you might be right. And I'm so sorry I've gotten you into this. Not nearly as sorry as we're going to be. They escaped every one of your traps, Durek. A momentary problem, I promise you, my princess. They will not exit the tomb, I guarantee. You'd better be right this time. I want that lamp! Now, which way do we go? I don't know. Maybe Raggedy Dog can sniff out the safest corridor. <laughs> Sorry, rock all smells the same to me. Oh, great. What a time for your sniffer to get choosy. But a wonderful opportunity for me to take the genie's magic lamp. And get over. Know him? He works for my sister Nefra. 
But she couldn't be behind these accidents, could she? I don't think she's ruling out the red carpet for us. and her friends like this. Hungry, my pets. Well, you won't be for long. Raggedy dog, your nose is cold. My nose isn't cold. Mom, neither. Then... will be very happy. Very happy indeed. Now that I have the lamp, it's only a matter of time before the scepter is mine and I am made queen. Oh, it's so sad that my sister and those raggedy-looking creatures won't be here to see it. <laughs> Raggedy Ann and Andy will return after these messages. This will be the ball game. Back to throw. He's got a man deep. Touchdown! If we win, we'll be in the middle of the center. Can do nothing about it. We've got a tie ball game with this little minute to go. Now there's Spot, the video game. $24.99 and four labels from specially marked 7-Up bottles. Check with your parents before ordering. We promised you a better cookie and a bigger taste. Come on in, I'll show you. We're filling the cookie jars and lunch boxes of America with over 40 varieties of cookies. All your favorites that taste as good or better than a kid could ask for. That's why we're now America's fastest growing, popular priced cookie brand. We promise, we deliver. Delicious brand cookies. If you can find a better cookie or a bigger taste, buy it. And now, back to 
It's time for that genie to know who he's working for now. <laughs> I am now the owner of the lamp, and I demand that you grant me my wishes. Who? Listen, you little weasel. Grant me my wishes and take me to the jewel scepter, or else. All right, all right. Keep your royal turban on. Wishes take time, you know. I have to get in the mood. <laughs> Come on! What's taking you so long? Oh, it's coming! I can feel it! Hey, you're not the genie! You're one of those raggedy friends of my sister! Guards! Grab him! Gotcha! Yes, well, you will never get me to tell you that they are headed for the Great Pyramid! Oh, my. Good. Now that we know where they are, finding them won't be hard. Mm. <sighs> oh, I hope your plan works, Anne. Oh, no telling what Nefra may do to Grouchy Bear. Nefra won't hurt Grouchy Bear until she finds us and the genie. By that time, you'll have the scepter. Oh, I hope you're right. This is weird! There aren't any doors! Wow! A secret trap door! Look, Raggedy Dog! You did it! I did? This must be it! The writing says... The pure of heart will find the way. Come on! Wow, look! All the magic lamps we could want! Not all lamps have genies! These are forbidden lamps entombed here! That's okay, we don't need magic. Clea must find the scepter on her own. Yeah. 
your highness. <laughs> You're the rightful ruler. We've got to get the scepter back. Come on! What's that noise? Anything go right today? Ow! Ouch! Grouchy Bear, you found the magic lamp! We're saved! Where's Nephra? I'm here to grant her wishes! My sister Nephra is gone, and I don't expect she will ever return. Y you're sure she's gone for good? Well then, I guess you can have her wishes. for the Raggedies to be returned safely to their home. Your wish is granted! Ah, oh, it feels good to be home, I'll say. Okay, Fido, I bought you a brand new flea collar. Now let's put it on. Dog. I guess there was just something you didn't like about this one. Come on, Fido. Raggy Ann and Andy will return after these messages. What's hot? Hot Wheels. What's cool? California Custom. Oh, yeah. Hot neon paint jobs, gnarly surfer stickers, cool speed, colored wheels, California custom. Oh, yeah. California style, California cool, California custom in slow motion. So hot, so cool. New California custom cars and Wild Wave stunt set each sold separately. Cars not for use with some sets. in honey, cinnamon, and chocolate. They are number one today. Teddy Grahams are here to stay. No spins, no. And back to our adventure.
This is CBS. Let ponies come with a bottle, changing table, and diapers that show you when baby needs changing. We're my little pony girl. We're my little pony girl. Baby drink and wet ponies. Each sold separately with everything shown here. secret project. Get out of here. Come on, Max. We don't have any secrets. What are you building? I can't tell you what it is. Why not? Because I don't know. All I have are these instructions, but it doesn't say what it does. Where did all this stuff come from? Mr. Cooper was having a yard sale, and he found that old crate in his attic. He thinks it was left there by Professor Flybender. Flybender? <laughs> that crackpot inventor? Flybender was a lunatic. He... Hmm. What's this? Flybender's fantastic, fully guaranteed time machine. A time machine? Crud. I wasted my whole afternoon on a hunk of junk. Maybe not. It's guaranteed. This could be our hot rod into history. Just think. We could be Wild West Cowboys, or team up with Blackbeard's Pirates. Forget it. Time travel is impossible. I'm gonna fix something to eat. Let's see. Jolly Old England. Oh, that'd be a trip. Don't you want some action, adventure, and excitement? Nope. Just a tuna sandwich. Wonder what this button does. After these messages. Pretty cut and grow 
you need a haircut. I clip bang clip your hair away. Pretty cut and grow, you're getting prettier every day. With pretty cut and grow, you can really cut her hair. You can't do this for every other dog. Pretty cut and grow, you're getting prettier every day. And it's easy to give her long hair again. I can twist and tie and trim this way. Pretty cut and grow, you're getting prettier every day. Pretty cut and grow comes with comb, barrette, scissors, and extra hair. Each sold separately from Play School. Beats me. Guess the time machine mixed up my molecules. Do you think you're gonna be a horse forever? Well, who knows? I guess at least as long as we stay back in time. Hmm. Before we left, I set the dial to one. I wonder if that means one hour or one day or one year. Uh-oh. Someone's coming. Yow! I'll do the talking. Don't my eyes deceive at me? I could take it be for my own twin brother. Yeah, we do it look alike. Uh, how about it that? Thy horse weareth a strange device. <laughs> yeah, it's the latest style in harnesses. Greetings. I am Sir Robert of Bletchingley. Hi, I'm Steve of the Valley. Dare not touch me. I have the 24-hour spots. Alas, I was traveling to Cramden Castle to be the guest of honor at the Earl's Banquet. But now, because of ye wretched spots, I feareth to approach. What a bummer. Looks like a pretty live castle. Does it have a moat and all that gross stuff? Gross? I knoweth not from gross. I am a stranger to these parts. I have never met the Earl, even though I am to be betrothed to his daughter. Alas, I... Hark! Wilt thou taketh my place? Huh? If I do not appear at the banquet, the Earl will be insulted. But not if he thinketh thou art me. Pray accept. Tomorrow I shall meet thee at the castle, and we will trade places. Hmm. I'm not really dressed for a banquet. Thou can wear my spare tunic. Well, okay. Sounds cool. flies. Uh. Welcome, Sir Robert. I am the Earl of Cramden. I am honored by your presence. The honor is mine, Your Honor. I mean, you're earlish. Let me down. Sir Robert, at last! Lady Elizabeth, it's not becoming to show such an enthusiasm. Don't fret, Squire Gathergoods. After all, soon Sir Robert and Lady Elizabeth will be betrothed. What does betrothed mean? <laughs> I'll tell you later. After such a long journey, you must be weakened with hunger. Our chef hath prepared thy favorite dishes for tonight's banquet. And for your steed, we've prepared the finest royal hay. <laughs> Sir Beavis, I can't stand that brute! Sir 
So, you are the legendary Sir Robert. Verily, thou lookest more like a pipsqueak. I challenge thee for the hand of the fair Lady Elizabeth. Hey, what's the idea of littering? You are so heroic, Sir Robert. To pick up Sir Beavis' gauntlet and accept his challenge. I am? I did? No one has ever bested Sir Beavis in a joust. Why, is he that good? No. I cheat. I declare the tournament to begin immediately. Prepare to meet thy doom. Ah, Squire Gathergoods. Bring the jousting equipment inside so I might examine it. But the weapons have already been approved by the Earl. There's a pouch of gold in it for you. Maybe we should split before someone around here gets hurt. Relax. I happen to know that jousting is more or less the safest of all the deadly sports in medieval England. But Sir Beavis bragged to me about being a cheater. Nah. He was probably just kidding. This will cut short Sir Robert's victory. Father, must I marry Sir Beavis if he wins the tournament? I'm afraid so. But fear not. Sir Robert's jousting skills are legendary. Then, by the authority vested in me by the Earl of Cramden, I declare this tourney to commence. In this corner, 137 pounds of courage, the rugged redhead from Bletchingley, Sir Robert. <laughs> and his opponent, tipping the scales at 195 pounds of pure meanness, the Hampshire Mauler, Sir Beavis! <laughs> I don't even know how to joust. No problem. Just watch Sir Beavis and do whatever he does. But what if he knocks me to the ground? Try not to land on your head. Hey, select us thy weapons. Hmm. I think I'll take... I guess these will do. Come out and shake his hands. Joust begins! You know, this is kind of fun. All I gotta do is knock him off his horse and I'm a hero. Come on, giddy up. That's easy for you to say. Uh-oh. I'll smash you to smithereens. I'll batter you to bits! Here goes nothing.
Don't be ridiculous. You can't come to the banquet. And let you feast on roasts and turkeys while I'm grazing on a bale of hay? No way! means it means you're gonna marry Elizabeth It giveth me great pleasure to announce the imminent betrothal of my daughter to the gallant Sir Robert. Yeah! Wouldst thou let thy daughter wed a man who wishes her evil? That is a serious charge, Sir Beavis. It approaches treason. I accuse Sir Robert of sorcery. Oh, 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 impossible. Oh, yeah? Prove it. I, uh, fortunately, I brought my crystal ball with me. Uh, let's see what it says. Hmm. It's a bit uh, cloudy in there, with a 30% chance of rain. Uh, it's true. Lady Elizabeth's life is in danger. I don't care what the silly crystal says. With this glass, I toast Sir Robert. What happened? Wake up! See Sir Robert! Throw him in the dungeon! We'll return after these messages. Watch me trick, Fred. I'm a reppin' detective on an inside case. There's a dude who wants your pebbles because he loves the fruity taste. He loves the fruity taste? Wanna protect him? I'm your man. Take out that corner while I stick to my plan. Mmm, grape, orange, berry, lemon, and lime. Bonnie's got Fred's pebbles one more time. Bonnie's got Fred's pebbles! My yeah. pebbles? Bonnie! Uh-oh, case closed. Pops Pebble Cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Look at this long blonde hair with Magic Hair Dolls, each sold separately. Brush uses warm or icy water. New from the towel. I think I want to be a lawyer. Or maybe a fashion designer. Great, I'll be your model. Okay. I just want to get married. Yeah, right. Oh. I want to be a dancer. I want to play rock and roll. I want to be a painter. I'll ride the rodeo. Good times, great taste. Dreaming away in our place. The good times. Be, is an electroencephalographic technologist. What? what?
expect anyone to take the word of an evil sorcerer? I'm not a sorcerer! Maybe you can take a message to the Earl. Explain to him that I... The Earl is busy attending to the Lady Elizabeth. If she doth not awaken from your spell by morning, you will visit me torture chamber. to talk me into such treachery. I paid you well, button thy lip or I shall button it for you. But it will be my head if the Earl finds out I put a potion in Lady Elizabeth. Hold thy tongue! No one needeth know our secret unless you blabbeth. Besides, when I awaken Lady Elizabeth with this elixir, I shall be her hero and she will marry me. Marriage? But you told me you don't really love her. What I love is Cramden Castle and its wealth. As her husband, I shall depose the Earl and take over his domain. I've got to get Steve out of the dungeon. But how? just went on duty. Dare thou question the order of thy Earl, or doth thou desire to be a guest in thy own torture chamber? Nay, uh, I go, I go. Good work, Max. Stand back. Hurry, Sir Beavis is going to give Lady Liz an elixir to wake her up. Hey, that's great! No, it isn't. I don't have time to explain. We've got to stop him before he reaches her bedroom. Please, wake up, my darling. Oh, dear, dear. Uh, Sir Beavis wishes to be admitted, Your Excellency. I bring a cure to the sorcerer's spell. If thou canst awaken my daughter, I will betroth her to you and granteth you half the wealth of my kingdom. Wouldst thou mind affixing thy signature and seal to this scroll? Half of whatever I have will be yours, my gold, my properties, so long as you can break this terrible spell. Steady, Max. I'm doing my best. Quick, I think I hear someone. If you will seal the document with thy ring. Yes, yes. Now break the spell. One drop upon her lip is all it requires. <laughs> it's not working. I I'll try some more. <laughs> I knew it, Beavis. I told you we shouldn't have put the potion in. Shh, you what? Let's just say I got time off for good behavior. <sighs> You've lifted the spell. I shall reward you handsomely. Hey, no problem. Where, where am I? What happened? You were a victim of a vile deed by Sir Beavis, and he shall pay Get out of my way! Thinkest thou to escape? Huh? But you're in there! You can't be out here! Bravo, Sir Robert! A talking horse! Dead jokes! You mustn't let Sir Beavis get away! Fear not! That knave won't escape! 
me. I'll try. Hurry up and fall. What's happening? Ready or not, here I come. Where are you? Oh no, Max, you turned into a cat! Wrong! I'm okay. I just dropped my glasses when I landed up here. Well, good old Professor Flybender's fully guaranteed time machine worked. Well, there's still one place left where we can take the time machine. Really? Where? To the junkyard. And now this message. What's the best day to go to Showbiz Pizza? Every day the show If you feel like going out and having fun, Something new in Gotham City. It's Batman. Like you've never seen him before. Figures and vehicles sold separately. Lars, he does, Batman. My tech shield suit protects me. Even against this sludge, your poison can't hurt my tech shield suit. Bye, Batman. Think again, Joker. My Batcopter. Fire! Yeah! Ah, where does he get these great weapons? You're finished, Joker. Tech Shield Batman. Batcopter and Joker sold separately. Part of Batman, the Dark Knight collection. Oh, <laughs> no.